All right, so let's get started. You should have this page, um, Investigation 1-7, that you got from class earlier. If you don't have it, you can always go back to my website and download it. Um, it's um, right below the, the link to the video. It's a file that you can just print out. All right, you need something to write with. And let's get started. Today is about the distance formula. And it's a formula you've seen before. Look at it right here. It's kind of a long monster formula, but you've done it before in Algebra 1. And I want you to know that it's actually um, a different version of the Pythagorean theorem. It came from the Pythagorean theorem. And I'll, in this investigation, you're going, to, you're going to see how. All right, so we first, we have this um, coordinate plane here. We're going to graph a line segment, line segment AB. So we're first going to graph it and find the length of this line segment. All right, let's graph A, negative 3, comma 5. B is 6, comma, negative 2. Connect it into a line segment. Okay, we want to know how long this line segment is. We can't count diagonal because all of these are not on a straight line that we can count. So in order to do um, the length of this, we can turn this into a right triangle and this will become the hypotenuse and then we'll just use a Pythagorean theorem to do it. All right. So here's what I do. Um, make a right triangle. You can either make a triangle go on the up, upper right hand like this or you can go lower left whatever you're comfortable with. Okay, I'm going to go upper right and then straight down. So I've got a right corner right there. This is, let me make my line straighter, okay? So, there we go. Now, to do the Pythagorean theorem, since we're looking for the hypotenuse, we just got to count how many squares we have to get the leg and then count here to get the other leg. So here's what I do, just so I can see it better. And it's really hard to count correctly because all of these lines are really playing tricks on your eyes. So I put these endpoint to show it more obvious so I count squares. You should have gotten nine squares here. And I draw one here and one here. I've got seven squares here. So the legs are nine and seven, and we're looking for the hypotenuse. So I'm going to go a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Oops, I forgot. Seven squared is 49. Then we square root everything. I get C equals root 120. Okay, so that's how long this is. So this is approximately between 11 and 10. 10 would be 100. 10 squared is 100. 11 squared is 11, 121. So this is really close to 11. It's about 10 point something, 10.9 probably. All right. So we can do Pythagorean theorem to solve for the hypotenuse. However, there's another way to do it is by using the distance formula. The distance formula basically needs the x coordinates and the y coordinates of a and b. See the x coordinates, this is for, for a and b. This is the y coordinates of a and b. You subtract the x and y coordinates, you raise it to a power of 2, you add them, and you square root the whole thing. All right? so. To find length of AB, I need to find the x coordinates. Here's the x1, the 6 is x2. So the first x, the second x, that's what that stands for. So I'm just going to plug it in. The first x is negative 3. Then it says minus means the opposite of the second x. Well, the opposite of 6 is negative 6. I'm just copying down the formula. Now I put a plus. 
Now I go look for the first y and the second y. Here's the first y, here's the second y. The first y, I just copy down 5. The minus says do the opposite of the second y. Well, the second y is negative 2. So what's the opposite of negative 2? Positive 2. Raise it to power 2. Okay, now I keep going. What's negative 3 minus 6? Negative 9. 5 plus 2? 7. See how this is starting to look like over here? See how we've got 9 squared here, a 7 squared here? It's starting to look like that. Negative 9 squared is positive 81, because negative 9 times negative 9 is positive 81, double negative. 7 squared is 49. Look at that. It's starting to look just like the Pythagorean theorem. You add them together, 120 square root. You see how both came to the same answer? All right, the Pythagorean theorem requires a graph. You will draw the right triangle. Here, you just plug in the xy coordinates and plug it into the distance formula. One last thing. I think this square root is simplifiable, so we need to try. I'm going to go root 4 times root 30. I know 4 is 2. And root 30, um, the only thing I can break it up to is root 6 and root 5. And root 6 and root 5 I know cannot be simplified to a whole number. So it's basically not simplifiable. So all I'm left with is 2 root 30. You would leave this answer. But know that 2 root 30 is approximately almost 11. Okay? But this is the answer I want, the 2 root 30. Okay. So now let's try again. What I want you to do this time is see if you can do it without watching me. I'm going to ask you to do the same thing here, two dots C and D, graph them, make a right triangle out of it, solve it, solve the, for the hypotenuse using the Pythagorean theorem. Then second, you're going to do it again, but this time use a distance formula, just like we did above, okay? So go ahead and pause me. I hope you have this answer, square root of 65. Okay, if you didn't, in the Pythagorean theorem way, check your triangle. Perhaps you counted the squares incorrectly and did not count the sides properly. We should be 4 and 7. Plug in the Pythagorean. And then when you do the distance formula, you will prob should have negative 4 plus 8 here. <clears throat> Here's why. The y coordinate, the negative 4 is the first y, um, the negative 8 is the second y. Well, the first y, you just plug it in the regular way, but this minus says do the opposite of what the second y is. And since so the second y is negative 8, the opposite of it is positive 8. Okay? Negative 7 minus 0 is just negative 7. Negative 4 plus 8 is positive 8. Look, it looks, it's looking like just like a Pythagorean theorem right here. When you square negative 7, you get a positive answer, 49 plus 16, same answer. Now, we're not done. We need to make sure that this is simplifiable or not. We're not sure yet. Since it ends with the 5, I'm going to try square root of 5 times, um, let's see, what times 5? So it's 13. Square root of 5, I cannot get a whole number from that. And square root of 13, I cannot get a whole number from that. So that means it's not factorable. Then I leave the answer the way it is. Square root of 65. I know this number is really close to 8 because 8 squared is 64. Square root of 64 is 8. So this number is slightly larger than 8. The hypotenuse, it has a 8, almost 8, a little larger than 8 units. All right? Okay. Here's the thing that I really need you to stress here is that the distance formula is something you have to have commit to memory. And it's such a difficult formula to memorize because there are minuses everywhere, power 2 everywhere, and there's pluses. So it, it's what people have um, mess up is they don't know where the minuses go and where the um, plus goes. So I want you to practice. Switch to the back side of this paper. And I want you to copy down the distance formula five times, okay? And I, right now, you can look at mine. 
but what I'm hoping is if you write it enough times, your hand has muscle memory and your fingers have muscle memory that after a while, your hand will automatically know how to write the distance formula even if your brain forgot how. Okay, so this is a correct formula. I'm going to have you see it here. There is only one plus. Okay, only one plus sign. Everything else is minus. The x's go together. You minus the x's. You minus the y's. Now the parentheses in the x's has a power 2. The parentheses in the y's have a power 2. And you have a big square root symbol all around everything. So I want you to write this five times on your paper, okay? Until you have this committed to memory. Write it five times, all right? Afterwards, when you're done, um, go take the online quiz to get three points for these notes. All right, thanks. I'll see you tomorrow.